Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to play Apex Legion Mobile on your PC. So Bluestack just released a new update uh, to make sure Apex Legion now is working on Bluestack. So I'm going to put the uh, link on my video description. Just download the uh, Bluestack with the Play Apex Legion Mobile on PC. Um, yesterday on the home page, they didn't have like the latest version. So it seems to be like some kind of hot fix. So just download it over there. Uh, and when you did that, uh, you will have blue stack like this. We're going to go to the Play Store. Uh, so the Play Store is super important. Make sure that you, you're using the same account from your uh, cell phone or your mobile phone, whatever, uh, to make sure that when you save, you're keeping your progression. Search for Apex Legion and just download that Apex Legion. After that, Apex Legion will be there. Uh, we're gonna go with the best setting right now for Bluestack because uh, before even opening any games, you need to configure your computer properly. So let's go with this. So now for the uh, setting of Bluestack. First of all, I want to mention that it's really important to activate your uh, virtualization in your BIOS. So if you have an AMD processor or Intel, go on your BIOS and make sure that your virtualization is activated. It really depends on your mobile, your motherboard. So if you're not sure how to do that, just Google your motherboard and how to activate virtualization. Normally, you will see a, a guide on how to do it. So let's go first of all with setting. The first tab will be performance and you will see some CPU allocation, memory allocation. This one, the, the trick here and the goal is you don't want to max your core uh, with the CPU allocation. So for example, if you have a, a computer with four core, you don't want to run four core on an emulator because you still need power to run Windows and other tasks. So it's super important to know how many RAM that you have and how many C uh, core that you have on your CPU. If you want to do that, Control L, Delete, go to Task Manager, go to Performance, click on your CPU tab here. And you will see here the amount of core that you have. So in my case, I have 12. And for the memory, as you can see, I have 32 gig. So you just need to remember those number. So now for the CPU allocation, I can do I easily. And also I can go custom and go higher than, uh, than five. Like I can use six, seven, eight. Honestly, I never seen like a big difference with those numbers. And sometimes I'm getting issue with compatibility. So I just go with the uh, default max here. For the memory, it's pretty much the same thing. If you have the space, you have like 16 gig of RAM, you can even custom it and put like 8 gig if you want. You can go really like high, depending on the amount of memory that you have. In my case, I'm going to stay at 4 gig here uh, for uh, this demonstration. For the performance mode, I recommend to go with balance. For the frame rate, I recommend to go max at 60. And you can even enable the high frame rate here if you want to click it. Sometimes in some games, you can go 90, 120. Uh, but it can cause issue also with the stability of the game. So just do some testing. If you're struggling with the allocation of your CPU and you're playing at medium or even low, don't go necessarily at 60 here. You can lock it at 30. You will probably have like a better like uh, experience be because you know you will not like get some random drops and stuff like that. So it really depends on how you want to run this. For the display, um, go with native. So if you have a 720p monitor, go with 720p. If you have 1080p, go with 1080p. If you have higher than that, you can definitely go 2K. But to run in 2K, make sure that performance, everything is maxed out because you will lag if you do that. Honestly, I recommend to go just with 1080p. It's perfect. Even if you have like a 2K monitor, uh, it's a good way to play. For the pixel density, I, I recommend to go with 240. Higher than that, sometimes I'm getting weird crash in some games. Uh, honestly, 240 is fine and you will have a decent compatibility. For the graphic tab, um, the graphic engine mode, I, I recommend also to go with compatibility. Don't go with performance, getting too much issue with it. Uh, compatibility runs fine. For the API uh, graphic renderer, I recommend to go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with old AMD card, you can definitely test DirectX because OpenGL is, is not great with AMD drivers. Uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, you will not have any issue. Just go with OpenGL. If you're struggling with your AMD, definitely do some testing. Interface renderer, go with Auto. ASTC texture, super important to use the software decode, coding. Sorry. And the last one, it's the GPU in use. You really want to uh, activate this if you have a dedicated GPU. It will help you with the hardware acceleration. So super important to use that.
The last parameter that you want to check, it's your device. So you have a different profile for device. By default, I recommend to use the Asus ROG 2. Uh, it's pretty good. And normally you can go, uh, you can have like high FPS in some games. Uh, the sick other profile that I recommend is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So just do some switch between them. If you don't like the uh, Asus and you're feeling that you're missing some setting in some game, definitely test the Samsung one and you will probably have what you're missing. So this is pretty much it for my blue stack guide. So now inside of the game, so we're going to go to settings, go to graphic and audio. So the first one will be the graphic quality. Um, if you have like a mid-range computer, something with uh, 2070, 2060, you can definitely play this game in HD. If you have something lower with your GPU and even like, uh, for example, you're playing on a, a CPU with an iGPU on it, go with smooth. Don't go too crazy in this game. It's not well optimized on the emulator right now. If I compare this game with PUBG or Yarina Free Fire, whatever the game, uh, they're running very well. This one is not running well. So don't go crazy with Ultra HD Extreme or even Original. I recommend like if you have a decent computer, go HD. If you have like a pretty good high-end computer, go with Ultra HD. And if you have like a mid-range, low tier, go with normal. And if you're playing like with a PC with an integrated GPU, go with smooth. For frame rate, I recommend to use Ultra. Uh, the Ultra is 60 FPS. Uh, they're saying recommended that I, and when you select another one, you will set pop up that it will say it can eat your phone, but you don't really care because you're playing on a PC. So you just want more FPS and make sure that you unlock the best one. So let's go with Ultra to have your 60. I don't recommend to go with the adapting smoothing. Uh, it's not consistent when, when you play the game. You don't want to use that. So go with off. I recommend also to display your FPS. It's really important when you do some testing, you want to test some settings and stuff like that. You want to know the impact when you're playing the game. So definitely go with on. FPP, so first person FOV and third person FOV are kind of important. If you're playing a low hand computer, lower this, you will gain a lot of FPS. So I recommend to start with 90 for both. So you just go with 90, look at it. If you're uh, satisfied with your FPS, uh, just go with 90. If you don't, you don't lower uh, again your FOV, you will gain a lot of FPS with that. For the graphic style, you have four different graphics style. It's more like a filter. So honestly, uh, just go with the one that you like. You will not gain any FPS with this. Uh, I'm playing at Classic. I know a couple of people like Vivid because of the saturation of the color, but it's a question of preference. Finally, in the advanced setting, I recommend to put the dynamic shadow at off. You will gain a nice 5% boost in your FPS. This one's super important. It's not really important for this game. I know some people like to see shadow betters because sometimes you can see if an enemy is like in the building or not uh, when you're looking at the floor and stuff like that. But this will help you a lot on the emulator. I recommend to remove the anti-aliasing. First of all, it adds blurriness when you go on. And also, um, when you put it at off, you will gain a nice 4% boost in your FPS. If you don't like aliasing, you can definitely go with on, but it will tank your performance. Refraction quality, I recommend this one at off also, another 3% boost, not really important for this game. Bloom, I recommend off. Uh, you will not necessarily gain a lot of FPS with this one, like maybe 1%, but it's question of visibility. It will help you a lot for your visibility. You know, it's a try hard game, so you don't want to, to have some bloom in your image when you're playing this game. The last one is vegetation. This one also I recommend to put it at off. Another 4% boost in your FPS. So those options are really important to put those one at off. First of all, they will help you with your visibility slash clarity. And also you will gain a lot of FPS with them. So this is pretty much it for the graphic parameter inside of the game. If you have any question about Bluestack or this game, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig. CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.